the church is, is bad. I think it's actually a good thing. But, but, but you got to understand where I was at. For me, my Christianity was going to church. For me, my Christianity was sacrificing a day on the golf course so I could go to church. For me, my Christianity was sacrificing a day down at the beach so I could go to church. For me, uh, it was just a life of sacrifice. I, it, was, it was as if I was approaching God and saying, God, look at what I'm doing here. I'm giving you Sunday. And yet, I would leave church on my own. In fact, I would leave Jesus sitting right there at First Baptist Church Moultrie, and I'd say, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll be back next Sunday, okay? Well, of course, unless somebody just begs me to play golf, and then I'm sure you'll understand Jesus. But the reality is, I'll be back next week, so you just hang tight. And so I begin to live my life, I begin to live my life, not in a pursuit of holiness or righteousness or even Christ. I mean, yeah, I would tell someone I was a Christian if somebody asked, but the reality was I was leaving Jesus to just kind of hang out in the pew. And that was my Christianity. That was my life. The problem with that for my life is that when I got out here away from Jesus, I was no longer abiding in Him. And, and, and so for me, I found myself walking in darkness. And, and, and the reality was that my life was not in a pursuit of righteousness or holiness at all. It was in, in a pursuit of things of the world and, 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 the, and the pleasures of my flesh. And so I found myself going in a different direction than where God was going. I don't know if you've ever found yourself there, but that's just where I was. And so I, here's, here's the thing. I, I believe that when we talk about walking with God, if we talk about embarking on a journey with God, we've got to realize that when we make that sort of commitment to walk with Him, that it involves a lot more than just picking out a place to go. I don't think it's coincidence that Psalm 1, verse 1, starts out like this. And I, I love this verse. I, I know many of you probably read through the Psalms. I find the, the Psalms encouraging, and, and I love reading through them. But Psalms 1, 1 says this, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor seats, sits in the seat of scoffers. And so it, it's, it's, it's one of those things where we, we realize real quickly that that, you know, that is not what pleases God. To, you know, the Bible tells us very clearly that, that bad company corrupts good morals. And so we, we, we understand that what pleases God is this pursuit of righteousness. I love it how Jesus said it in Matthew 5 when he said, Blessed are those who what? Hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. And I love how he wraps this one up. Verse 6, he says this. He says, For they will be satisfied. 